Hey guys, I'm Norm. I'm here at Maker Faire 2012 uh, with Mike McMaster and Mike Senna, two members of the Wally -E Builders Club. So as you can guess, they build life-size Wally -E machines. How are you guys doing? Doing good. These look are amazing. Uh, the movie came out in 2008, and it seems like you guys have been building these before the movie started. How, how did that whole thing start? We're an offshoot of the R2D2 Builders Club. And in October of 2007, there was sort of a joke on our board about, oh, there's this new movie, Wally. -E. We should get into that robot. So Scott Washburn started the club, and it's a Yahoo group in October of 2007. And we went from there, and we spent the last four years studying screen grabs, collecting information, spent really the last two years actually building the Wallys. Well, did you have help from, did you, it was all screen grabs, or did you have any of the design blueprints from Pixar? No, it was mostly screen grabs. I mean, there were posters and things from Disney that we were able to take measurements off of, but mostly it was just trial and error. And what did you use for scale? There's all different kinds of scale for Wally. He changes throughout the movie, bigger and smaller. Um, the scale we chose was kind of what we thought it would be. I mean, it matches a poster, a movie poster that we saw, that looked like what he was supposed to be full scale on the image. And that's uh, basically how, how big he is. And so these parts, uh, how much of it is custom and how much of it is like off-the-shelf parts that you have to buy? Now, 100% of this thing on both of our builds is completely handmade. The, the only thing that was machined technically was on a wood lathe. All the wheels for the track drive, the prototypes, were made on a wood lathe. And then we made masters of that and uh, resin copies. And so you guys collaborated on uh, the design, but so they're, they're similar, but they're very unique to your own design. Exactly. Like if you look at these eyes here, these are actually from Home Depot, and the inner eye is actually PVC. It's a PVC reducer, and it's got four pieces in there. And actually, this was one of the, the pieces that was very easy to build because it was uh, off-the-shelf parts, you know? And inside there, you can see the, uh, the logos that we put in on the lenses. Those are just off of an inkjet printer. And then, Mike, you also worked on the the, uh, the treads and the, right. the movable parts. Yeah, the track drive is completely scratch built. While Mike was working basically on the head, arms, hands, and body, I was working specifically on the mechanics of the track drive. And what does it run on? It's a uh, NPC 2211 dual output shaft 12 volt motor. Okay. And then we've made custom sprockets and wheels. And the it's if I turn it around here, what we've got down here. The only found part is a plastic conveyor track, which they use in packing houses to transfer boxes from one point to another. I realized that that was the right scale and it was very durable. So then we made the treads. I made this out of wood, made a master, then made replicas of it. We poured these copies in rubber, urethane rubber, and then just simply bolted them directly to the conveyor track. So we have a good sturdy system. And the movement is very like the movie. Absolutely. Like, every, every detail on this is identical to the real Wally. -E. All the movements were, of course, like the movements right now that, that I have. Some of them are animated and some of them are not. Like I don't want to control the eyebrows and the, the two halves of the head moving or the arms hunching. So all these movements you see here right now are that he does by himself are animated. And he'll do a he'll do some kind of action every eight seconds. But automated, I needed to have like a wave for the kids, so his arm will come up and wave. Uh, that's on command. Both sides of the his arms will wave. So uh, and then I'm gonna later on put some more animations that just raise his hand slightly and then put it back down. Would you guys consider this a near completed project? What more is there to build on this? It's near complete, but not complete. Like, my head is not weathered um, where his head is weathered. He's, his neck is finished where my neck is not finished. If someone wanted to build their own also, or join the Builders Club, what would they need to do to find out more information about that? They, would, they could join the Yahoo Builders Club right now. It's called Wally Builders. Um, there is not that much information out there right now. Um, these two are probably the the only ones that are re functioning really well uh, with all the features that you see on it. I usually design things, wait for about a year or two so I know they're working, and then I can release it to a club. So since we're in the very beginning, I think things will start coming out maybe in a year or two. Um, then there'll be probably some parts runs and things like that. But uh, 
these right now are in test phase, you can call it. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, Mike, and thank you, Mike. Congratulations on building very lifelike Wallies. Um, and I'm Norm from Tesla. We'll have more from Maker Faire 2012 uh, in the future. See you guys.